I'm again uh, on the forward deck. Whee! And I want to take this one, uh, this whole shenanigans off. But I was struggling to find out what this was. And it's just a hose to fill up the pump with oil and yeah, some uh, some uh, air ventilation. But I need to take that out from the inside downstairs first. Let me show you. Okay, so here's this mess. What I need to do first is disconnect this. This one I traced is the one that goes to uh, to up top to the former flybridge. And I need to connect these two directly to that. And that's tricky. Huh? There will be some oil spilled there and I need to be careful. I don't want to have it on my bed. Hey. Okay, success. <laughs> I got these two off. They're in this canister, just to be uh, to be sure. So that means the lines, these ones, they go up top. I can disconnect them there. And when I do, the vacuum inside these lines will break, so more oil will leak down. So I'm gonna leave this. Just a tiny little drop spilled, uh, a bit of oil spilled here, but just, you know, here, here you go. That's uh, negligible, so that's good, awesome. If I had turned the steering wheel now, oil will squirt out here because they are not closable with a, a ball bearing system in here. So if I turn the wheel, it will squirt out here. So better not do that. I have to undo this two, these two, and then put these lines directly on them. But I can do that when, uh, when it's raining. So now I can uh, go back to the decapitation process up top. Awesome. So the weather today is quite a bit different than it was yesterday, as you can hear immediately. Oh, my poor flag. Lady of Life is uh, thirsty today. I completely ran out of water. <laughs> And I need to get another one, a new one. This is, uh, yeah, that's had, had seen better days. Okay, so today I'm gonna take out the paneling here on the side. Three pieces, one two and three. Oh, and around the corner four I have un uh, I have undid undoed wow Jesus that's bad <laughs> I removed all the but, uh, bolts and nuts so yeah with a little bit of elbow grease should be okay it's a gorgeous day it's absolutely fabulous Last night I got a, a treat in the sky again. Here it is. Amazing. So, what am I up to now? So here's this pump situation on, t on the flybridge. These are the lines I want to take disconnect. And when I do so, the vacuum, vacuum will break in these lines and the oil will spill down in the canister. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan for, uh, for now. 
and then I can take the pump out uh, the pump out that one and disconnect the rest of uh, the mess and start with that one so here we go so after 20 minutes tinkering what do you think Ay, ay, ay. Yesterday a friend of mine came by and he took all the crap from my uh, my uh, deck, my upper deck, my former flybridge. So that's gone. And I'm just gonna collect it over there. Take that all off. And then uh, in, uh, in about a week or so, I don't know when, uh, maybe earlier, uh, my friend, he, he doesn't want to be in this vlog, so let's call him John. <laughs> but he will come by and uh, take the rest of it uh, off my boat. I mean, that's just uh, yeah, too heavy on my foot. Oh, look at that. That's a typical inland vessel, and as you can see, it's now empty. It's a pretty new one, I think. This one uh, comes by uh, pretty often. So, man, it's about 20 degrees now. It's lovely. It's about, I don't know, 1130. It's awesome. These new ones are really quiet as well. No wake in the back. That's amazing for such a, such a big vessel. No wake. Look at that. Nothing. I've seen this one in uh, other uh, vlogs of other YouTubers as well, YouTubers as well so. That cabin of his can rise up. But he has to drop it so he can uh, fit underneath the bridge. This is a fixed bridge by the way, it doesn't go up or down, it doesn't open. So if you don't fit underneath it, you're in trouble. <laughs> so every time that dog hears a siren, he goes nuts. That one. Oh well. So, what do you think? <laughs> well. It's not bad, is it? I can't get the, that middle panel out because of these uh, these struts, this one and the one in the back over there. So I need to grind it out. And then I have to grind this whole frame off. And then I have to decide to where I'm gonna end with this piece of rail here. I mean, this curve here, I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna utilize it, but to where? Possibly here. The end of the door is the end of the wooden plank I wanna put in here. But I'm not there, not even close. <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm gonna rest for uh, about an hour or two and then sweep all that stuff up. I mean, I don't want that to get in the water, but I need to take a, re a rest with my foot. So, okay, let's do that. So it's about 8.30 at night and look at this. It's about 17, 18 degrees Celsius still. So that's good. A lot of mosquitoes in the air already. That's not good. But about my work today, it was so easy. Just undo those bolts and nuts and take it out. Man, I'm good.
morning. It's now the 9th of April, 8.30 in the morning, and this is the weather report. As you can see, it's cloudy. So it's now 9.30 and the wind is already picking up. So I need to get my ass in gear. And that means taking this sheet off. Taking this sheet off. Uh, I need to take it uh, on the back of my boat on the outside. Um, because the wind is really picking up now and this can blow off so that's that can be a bit dangerous and I don't want it uh, to fall in the river uh, luckily for me it's aluminium so it doesn't weigh much <laughs> and after that I'm gonna get uh, some grocery shopping and uh, hopefully get back before the rain starts uh. and now ladies and gentlemen it's tool time <laughs> So, if you look closely, you will see that these are tools. Some more tools. But I want to talk to you about this one in particular. So this is a screwdriver, really, by Swiss Tools. Hope you can see it. Yeah, you can. And it smells like marshmallows. It really does. It's weird. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful day. Finally. Yesterday was terrible. Uh, quite a bit of rain and lots of wind. So, that panel made one hell of a racket. Luckily, the wind died down uh, when I went to bed, so... <laughs> That was lucky for me. Okay, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> so, I got the tools that I need right here. The angle grinder. And I'm gonna cut here and there, that one. And then take these two panels out, this one and that one. So, here we go. Of course, I forgot my screwdriver. Ay, there's always a thing. <laughs> oh man, if I were a girl, I would be pregnant a lot. <laughs> So, that's one down, one to go. It's pretty easy though. Famous last words. <laughs> and that's two. So now, all the panels are gone. Now you can see the damage, uh, the real big damage that happened uh, when I uh, collided with the bridge. That wasn't my fault, by the way. <laughs> they said the bridge was lower to three meters. Uh, so there was a clearance of three meters and it turns out to be two and a half. So, bang. Oh well. Look at that. So now I'm gonna cut that 
that one down there and then grind off the rest but I'm going to grab a jacket because it's pretty pretty cold <laughs> mm. so what does she look like from this angle <laughs> okay so now the easy part starts and that's just cutting those frames off that's not a lot of work it's easy to reach for me so let's do that There was a lot of tension on that one. <laughs> but it's working. That's going well. So, I was grinding for 10 minutes and then uh, the neighbor came and uh, helped me get the, all the stuff uh, off board and look at this, what a result. <laughs> awesome. I'll take a shot from uh, further behind. Oh, she looks a whole lot different now. Look at that. Doesn't she look like a, like a patrol boat or a pilot boat or something? I think so. So, now I have one job remaining. Look at this. <laughs> Loving it. Put a bag over it because that pipe is open of course so water will come in and uh, flood my bilge so I need to press that as soon as possible but again tomorrow we'll be having rain probably so I can do that tomorrow but what do I have to do now because I was uh, grinding maybe you can see it here all this little dust that's iron steel and I need to uh, get rid of that because if I leave it on my boat and it starts to rain then it will rust and I have enough of that so <laughs> let's get rid of it I will also rinse off the neighbor's boat a bit uh, I was uh, very careful not to uh, get any grindings on their boat but just to be safe I will uh, flush that as well so let's play with water so I've rinsed my boat off but I have to do it again I have to do a better job at that uh, I'm, I'm letting it dry out for now and then get a broom a little one and uh, wipe it off and get rid of it Man, I'm loving this. <laughs> awesome. Okay. That's it for this video, guys. Um, yeah, please let me, let me know what you think. Did I make the right decision or not? With the sun in my face. <laughs> 
So, uh, if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, you will help me out a lot with that. Uh, hit the little notification bell. Uh, so every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification from YouTube that I've done so. Okay, guys. Have an awesome week. Uh, rest of the week. And I'll see you the next time. Bye.